Hey, what's up guys? Archer from Mark here, and I'm back with another Star Wars figure review. Today I have from the Star Wars Black Series 6-inch scale, the Guavian Enforcer. Uh, right off the bat, this is pretty cool looking figure. He was, I don't want to say featured in the, the new Force Awakens movie, but he's, he's in there. It's not a huge part. Uh, you know, there was, I think there was a lot of maybe speculation on, you know, how much maybe this character would be in it or what role he would play. He just, he just looks so cool, you know, and he's got an action figure or so. But, uh, we'll give you a little more in-depth look in a moment. First, I'll show you the packaging. Uh, it's pretty, again, basic at this point. Uh, Star Wars, the black series. We got the black and red color scheme. And we go down here with a uh, nice image, nice black and white image of the Guavian Enforcer. I like that we get a bigger picture now. If I haven't, met, I don't know if I've mentioned that before in other videos, but uh, I do like that. It's a bigger image. That's the Hasbro logo. There he is. Guavian Enforcer, Warning Choking Hazard, all that. We go up here. He's figure number eight. Nothing much. Turn it around. Star Wars Black Series, Guavian Enforcer. And we get the little mini bio. Uh, the security soldiers of the Guavian gang wear high impact armor that makes them stand out among other deadly criminals. Okay. And all the other languages here. And you, got, you know, Hasbro logos and all this other mishmash here. Disney, all that. Uh, again, uh, similar image there. Okay. That's it for the packaging. And just bring this guy in. And like I said, this is a very cool looking figure. I think it sort of fits into uh, a, almost a Star Wars tradition, I think, with, with action figures that you get characters that maybe don't have a lot of screen time or aren't really important characters, but they get action figures because they're really cool looking and they have cool looking uh, costumes or designs or whatever, so they make for interesting action figures. So, you know, I'll just give you full up and down. And basically, you're getting a lot of it's like black and red for the most part, but really cool uniform. And his, these guys got all kinds of gadgets and pouches and things and straps, which, which do kind of make him stand out, you know. Uh, again, not a lot of screen time. He's just in, you know, a couple little scenes. Uh, I won't go into details as to what he does if you haven't seen the movie yet. And uh, and if you haven't seen the movie, what are you waiting for? It's it's freaking amazing. Uh, so, but it's really cool. I like this nice kind of black wash. Uh, they were getting over the red suit here. So it's nice little variations there. And it just looks very detailed and we got this kind of gadget thing here I'm not sure what this is supposed to be but it looks cool and again as I said all the uh, straps and pouches and and the the head sculpt on this is really interesting because I, I really I don't even think it's brought out in the movie for those that have seen it maybe maybe you know more but are these guys human? Are they droids of some kind? I mean, you look at that, it doesn't... I don't see where there'd be any way for someone to see out of that. But whatever it is, it looks cool. And again, that makes for a cool-looking action figure. Yeah. Okay. I like the details, the... The, the sculpting work on the boots here, these sort of like lines here or whatever, they just adds a little more detail to the boots instead of just being straight black. Yeah, it's a little bit more interesting. And we got similar things on the uh, the arms here. And we got some scratches on the helmet here, so we get some wear. These guys have been in some firefights, been banged around a bit over the years. Okay. Uh, it does come with two accessories, two guns, which is neat because we do see, uh, I think, like maybe five or six of these guys. 
So it's cool. So if you had a bunch of these guys, you could arm them differently and kind of change how you want them to look. So he has this weapon here, which is both of them are very much painted as like gray, a little bit of silver, and it's all, you know, nicely sculpted. And this almost looks like, like a, kind of a, a sawed-off shotgun, but like a Star Wars version, which is neat. You know, it's something different, something we haven't seen a lot of. Uh, and then you have this gun, again, same color, color plastic and whatnot. And this almost looks like a, like a Tommy gun in a way. And also, if you if you look, it kind of also can remind you of. Uh, the guns that the Jawas use in A New Hope. Yeah, just some similarities, but again, very different uh, than things we've seen before in the Star Wars universe, which is cool. Uh, so I like to look at these. I'll show you how he holds them. Uh, this hand has more of like of the trigger finger, so you can fit this in like that and. The trigger goes, fits right in there. Doesn't have a great grip on it. So this is where you would, you really could use uh, some double articulation on the elbows. I'll go over the articulation more in a bit. So because you, you really kind of need a like a like a better grip. He doesn't grip it. He grips it okay, but not super well. You know. It's hard to get like a decent pose one because it's it's like a weird, odd shape. Yeah. Uh, and this one fits better in both in this hand, but there's no trigger finger on there. But you can you could you know again if you have if you wanted to get two or three of these guys, uh, you could have them holding this or just this or you could have them double wield. Uh, which is cool, but for the most part, he holds them pretty well. You know, and again, I think they certainly look cool uh, in his hand. It, you know, he looks ready to kick some butt. Okay. Uh, now we will go over the articulation, which again has some limitations. Uh, the head is head is great, ball joint and the hinge joint. The next we got left. And right, and he can move. Move the head goes down a fair amount, and can really move up. So great articulation there. Uh, ball joints on the shoulders, so he moves up and moves down, and can move forward and back. But the shoulder piece does hinder the articulation there. You have a single joint at the elbows, and a swivel there at the elbow joint. But I really think we really need the, the double elbows, double articulation on the these elbow joints. Especially, with, I think this figure really would have benefited from that. You could have got some more dynamic poses there. Uh, you have swivels and hinge joints on the wrists, but you have uh, swivels there. You have the kind of in and out hinge joint there. And with this guy, you have the kind of up and down hinge. Uh, right here, you have. You really can't see the joint because it's hidden by the, the these pouches here. You have like left and right. It's more of a like a ball joint, but it doesn't really move. Other than that, you can't. There's you cannot really get any forward movement or back. It just that's about it. You just get left and right, but it it still is decent. It's not overly tight. It's not overly loose. Uh, then you get to, there's no waist articulation, then you get to the legs, and this is where, again, it's just the design of the character, it really almost kills the figure. Uh, you get all these straps, the legs move just barely, barely forward, barely back. It's a little bit better on this one, but not much, and, you know, you can't move his hips out at all, and that's that's really bad. You do have upper thigh swivel, 
which is pretty tight. That moves okay. There's, there's no real problems there. Uh, double hinge joints at the knees, uh, hinge joints at the ankles, so up and down, and you do have ankle pivots. So from from here down, the articulation is really good, but from like here up, it's like, mm. again, the articulation points are there. They're just very much hindered by the the design of the character, by the the, the various pieces of equipment the pouches and straps and things it just it just hinders a lot of the articulation points and then you have so because you can't get his legs to move out it's you know kind of squished in so it can be a little tricky to get him to stand sometimes and then again as I as you saw before uh, this shoulder piece hinders the the arm articulation so that's a bit of a shame that so much of his articulation is hindered because of his equipment there. But, you know, mm, so that's kind of a bummer, I would say. This may, especially when you consider how little he's in the movie, it's not a major character, it's not a so pivotal character. So this may not be a figure that you need. This might be a pass for a lot of you. Uh, I picked him up because... I liked the little bits that they did, and he just really does look kind of cool. And I kind of want to get another one, because I just I think it would look cool, say him fighting off with like an older Han Solo when eventually we get a Han Solo, an old Han Solo figure. Hopefully we will. I I would assume Hasbro would do that. Uh, it just I I just think that would look cool. But anyway, overall I think. For me, I just the coolness and the look of the figure and the weapons, the unique weapons, uh, warranted the purchase. Plus, it helps that my Walgreens, where I got this guy, was very much stocked on this guy, so it was very easy for me to pick off. So it was just kind of like, oh, it's there. I didn't have to go hunting all over and looking for this guy. Uh, so, but there you go, the Star Wars Black Series six-inch scale Guavian Enforcer. Uh, still a cool looking figure, but for I liked him, but I can't say I would recommend the figure overall. You know, if if you're someone that has to have every Black Series figure that you got to get him, then yeah, pick him up. But he may be a pass for a lot of you. Uh, I really liked him, so I I I really wanted to pick him up, and I I think I definitely want to get another one. Uh, just, I, I think it would look cool, again, because you have the two weapons, you can kind of alternate what, what weapons you put one with one and one with the other, and, um, but that's just me, that's my personal opinion, I really enjoyed them, but, again, it's going to come down to personal preference, so, I hope you enjoyed this review, uh, as usual, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and into my next videos, thanks for watching. And may the Force be with you.